a hard fought basketball game. Um, obviously disappointed in the outcome. I thought we played pretty tough for the, the entirety of the game. Uh, obviously had big issues with, with Lippy, 33. Uh, pretty special performance by her um, individually. Uh, I know they had 35 at half, and she had 24 of them, and we talked about it, and we didn't do a much better job in the second half of slowing her down. Um, was really proud of Riley Nudell tonight. Um, she could feel the crowd. We had a terrific crowd, uh, great energy in the building. Uh, our players loved that, um, and you could feel ourselves feeding off that. Uh, just disappointed we couldn't make a play there at the end of regulation and, and get a win for uh, everybody in the building. Uh, she just, she's super physical and super tough. Um, she likes contact. I mean, she drives hard in a straight line. I mean, you just look, at, look at the way she's built. I mean, she's just physically strong. Um, and she goes straight line really hard, and you bounce off of her, pinball off of her. Uh, she can absorb contact and still get a shot off with uh, balance. Um, you know, I would have liked to have fouled her harder more time. I and mean, she got too many and ones uh, that we gave up. Um, but yeah, I mean, just really her physicality at the guard spot as a ball handler is just something that you don't see very often. What happened to your offense in the overtime, you think? Uh, we had two plays um, that we just didn't execute. We had people forget where to go uh, and what to do uh, on a couple plays. Um, you know, I, I messed up the last 90 seconds. I should have called timeout uh, under a minute and didn't. I uh, thought we had something that wasn't there. Uh, so I screwed us up there in the last 40. Um, but I thought, you know, we missed – I thought we had a good play and we missed a screen roll layup uh, that would have been a big momentum play right there. Um, we missed several in and around the basket, I thought, in the first and second half um, that maybe would have helped us out. Jerry, how do you handle this free throw streak of Michelle that she's on? Do you talk about it at all? Or? Uh, don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean. Yep, I haven't said one word to her about it. It's pretty impressive, though. I mean, uh, what, what, what it makes is. her so good on that? It well, she's just, uh, if you watch Michelle shoot, she is a, uh, if it's an unorthodox shot. It's very robotic. Um, but when she's able to get set the way she practices, she makes it just about every time. Um, and so when she's at the free throw line, all her mechanics are lined up and it's easy, and she's just like a machine. Uh, either one of you, what made Lippy so tough tonight? I mean, we knew that she was going to be a bully driver and just put her head down and go. And I think um, we had a tough time containing her, and she had a lot of and ones on us, got on a roll. So that made it difficult for us. Uh, overtime, Ryan, um, what if you guys had a hard time scoring. Was it just was that frustrating for you? Uh, yeah, it's always frustrating when you're not scoring the way that you want to, the way that you know that you're capable. Um, but, I mean, we tried to hold our heads up as best as we could. And, I mean, we just didn't come out on top. Um, is it disappointing to have a chance to beat somebody who beat you before and come this close? Absolutely. Even if they hadn't beat us, it's always disappointing to lose, especially on our home floor.